Um, and then starting next year, we, we manufacture the Tesla Semi. So we've got, we got two big products, or three, three massive products starting production next year. We've got Optimus, we've got uh, Tesla Semi, and we've got the CyberCap. For many years, the Tesla Semi has remained almost silent in Elon Musk's statements, partly because the truck existed only as a prototype, partly because Tesla lacked a dedicated production line, and most importantly, because the Semi had yet to achieve the feature, Musk considers a game-changing lever for the entire long-haul transport industry, full self-driving. However, at Tesla's 2025 annual shareholders meeting, we saw for the first time the next-generation Tesla Semi, a model that marks Tesla's resolution of all previous limitations and positions, the Semi to become one of the three flagship products set for mass production starting next year, alongside Optimus and the CyberCap. No longer just the prototype Semi, the 2026 version features a redesigned chassis, a new headlight system, and optimizations for greater efficiency, higher payload, and most notably, full readiness for autonomous driving. Tesla has also confirmed that the price of the new Semi will be adjusted downward, a piece of news that couldn't be better for drivers and transport companies who have waited years for this vehicle. With the new factory now completed, the previously ambitious goal of 50,000 units per year that Musk once mentioned is no longer a distant dream. So what has Tesla changed to make the 2026 Tesla Semi Gen 2 truly transform the entire industry? Will the performance of the new model meet expectations, and will the real-world driving experience be as smooth as rumored? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Yes, this is the current Tesla Semi, and this will be the all-new 2026 Semi truck. Elon Musk emphasized that the Tesla Semi will be one of the three main products entering mass production next year, featuring significant changes. So what are the changes? Let's start with the essentials. Battery, range, interior and exterior design, and suspension. First and most important, the 2026 Tesla Semi is built to support full self-driving something the previous version couldn't. Elon Musk sees this as a potential game-changer for the entire transport industry, especially amid the U.S. driver shortage. The new Semi comes with a camera radar supercomputer setup similar to the CyberCab, enabling safe long-haul operation. This makes it the first Class 8 truck truly ready for high-level autonomous driving. The Gen 2 Semi isn't just FSD-ready marketing hype. Its front end, windshield, roof, and sensor mounts have been completely redesigned to integrate cameras and processors seamlessly within Tesla's ecosystem. New camera mounts on the front wheel arches, along with dedicated thermal management for the computer, show that Tesla didn't simply retrofit FSD later. They built the truck from the ground up for stable FSD operation. Standardizing the hardware also simplifies OTA software updates across the fleet, and is crucial for running a semi-autonomous or fully autonomous fleet around the clock. That said, FSD on the semi is far more demanding than on passenger cars. It involves higher risk, requires longer range prediction, and must account for massive inertia. Tesla will still need to pass a series of technical and regulatory tests in each market before claiming full driverless capability, unlike the current Gen 2 2026 model, which still depends on supervised self-driving. When Tesla first unveiled the Tesla Semi in 2017, the company set surprisingly attractive price points. $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version, with a higher-end Founders Series starting at $200,000. However, nearly a decade later, those initial numbers have become significantly outdated. Data from the first units delivered to customers like PepsiCo in 2023 shows actual prices have surged to around $250,000 per truck, roughly double the cost of a traditional diesel truck, while still offering the potential for substantial savings. Some reports even suggest higher figures, with certain sources claiming that early delivery units could cost more than $400,000 each. This large gap between projected and actual prices reflects the challenges Tesla faced during development and production, including high battery costs, technical complexity, and the need for skilled labor to produce small volumes in the early stages. However, as Tesla prepares for mass production in 2026 at its Giga Nevada plant, experts predict prices will drop significantly. Current forecasts suggest that the Gen 2 Tesla Semi could land in the $150,000 to $190,000 range, closer to the original targets, yet still slightly higher. Tesla is set to launch two distinct versions of the Tesla Semi in 2026, each designed for different use cases. 
The long-range 500-mile version remains the company's flagship for long-haul trips and international freight. This model is expected to maintain the announced 500-mile range with an average energy consumption of 1.51 kilowatt-hour per mile, corresponding to an approximately 850 kilowatt-hour battery pack. Its power output is 800 kilowatts, and with megawatt charging at 1.2 megawatts, it can recharge 70% of its range in just 30 minutes. The standard range 300-mile version is specifically designed for domestic routes and lighter hauling duties. It will feature a 500-kilowatt-hour battery pack and deliver a range of 300 to 310 miles, making it well-suited for shorter routes and areas with limited charging infrastructure. Both versions will use Tesla's next-generation 4680 battery cells, offering roughly 7% better energy efficiency than current packs. The Gen 2. Semi also brings a suite of design improvements including a redesigned chassis, Model Y-style headlights, smaller side windows, and enhanced aerodynamics with a drag coefficient of 0.36, about 30% more efficient than conventional diesel trucks. Tesla has also completely re-engineered the chassis to accommodate the new battery pack. The updated frame is stiffer, lighter, and optimized to position the battery modules low in the floor, lowering the center of gravity and improving stability under heavy loads. Compared to the 2017 prototype, which was projected to cover 500 miles but never reached full commercialization. The 2026 Semi is more practical, better optimized, and most importantly, ready for mass production. A milestone the earlier model could not achieve. One of the most noticeable changes on the Gen 2 Semi is its exterior design. Elon Musk has noted that the new version features a redesigned chassis, new headlights, and a host of other upgrades. The front end has been completely reimagined for aerodynamics, taking cues from the Model Y and Cybertruck, with a reshaped windshield edge, smoother curves, and camera-based side mirrors replacing traditional units. The upgraded headlights are more powerful and have a wider beam, working in concert with the front end designed to significantly reduce drag. Compared to the previous prototype, which was mainly a showcase, the 2026 Semi is truly designed for long-haul operation, with improved dust and rain resistance, and easier manufacturing thanks to shared components with other Tesla models. Elon Musk also revealed that the price of the Tesla Semi will fluctuate slightly, but will be lower overall, as reusing parts from other Tesla platforms helps cut production costs. This is excellent news for truck drivers who have been eagerly awaiting this vehicle. In the latest version, the Semi's uniquely designed cabin, with the driver's seat in the center, has been refined. The arrangement of screens, controls, and switchgear has been optimized for full self-driving, enhancing both usability and safety. The new cabin is more spacious and airy, with more durable materials and better dust resistance to meet the demands of continuous long-haul operation. The 2026 Semi is easier to use, clean, and maintain compared to the previous version, which was primarily designed for initial testing and not fully optimized for large-scale commercial use. Elon Musk emphasizes that the new Semi offers greater payload capacity. This means the suspension system has been completely redesigned to handle heavier loads while retaining the smooth ride that electric powertrains are known for. Compared to the prototype, which was inspired by the extended suspension of the Model X, the 2026 Semi features a stronger, lighter suspension structure that also reduces vibrations when operating at maximum load. The new suspension, combined with the low center of gravity provided by the high-voltage battery pack, makes the 2026 Semi feel smoother much like what users experienced in the prototype vehicles. Why are semi-deliveries taking longer than expected? According to Elon Musk, the semi has been upgraded to be more efficient, capable of carrying heavier loads, and is now designed for autonomous driving. A critical part of this lies in the new battery platform. The 2026 semi will use upgraded high-voltage 4,680 cells, enabling better performance while reducing overall weight. This allows the new Semi to achieve an efficiency of 1.51 kilowatt-hour per mile, a figure said to surpass previous prototype models, which were primarily designed for data collection rather than full optimization. According to the latest information, production of the Tesla Semi has become more active than ever at the Giga Nevada Pilot Facility, after a long period of quiet. Recent updates indicate that Tesla is now reaching a build rate of 500 to 1,000 Semi trucks at the Nevada factory. In addition to producing these supplemental units, Tesla engineers are also fine-tuning the design in preparation for full-scale mass production. Naturally, once volume production begins, 
it will be for the new sleeper cab version. At the Nevada Semi site, several Tesla Semi components have been spotted in the factory parking lot, including a short fairing, multiple shipping crates, and leaf spring assemblies designed specifically for the Semi. There are roughly 16 crates in total, along with axles, wheels, and tires. All of these parts are brand new, though the tires have been confirmed to match the same type Tesla previously stored at its Milan prototype facility. Not stopping there, attention has also shifted to three fully completed frames stored outside the factory, each paired with a set of wheels before the front axle assemblies are installed. Previously, the video's author had never seen chassis frames placed outside the building, suggesting there are many more inside that are now being moved onto the semi-assembly lines. Information from Tesla enthusiasts shows that roughly 12 semi-trucks are parked in the lot. Among them may be newly built units coming off the prototype line for testing, as well as trucks having their missing axles installed outside the factory. Some of the other trucks spotted there are older electric units that Tesla has been using to transport components from Fremont to Nevada. The new version of the Semi will introduce major upgrades to both the cabin and the truck's performance. Dan Priestley has confirmed that Tesla plans to add a sleeper cab, and engineers in Nevada are currently reworking the entire cabin layout and dimensions to make the space practical without compromising efficiency. Specifically, the Semi's cabin will be extended further toward the rear, and the driver's seat may be shifted to the left, similar to conventional trucks which makes sense given the criticism the previous version received for its unconventional central seating position. Right now, Tesla only offers a day cab configuration, which creates limitations for commercial companies like PepsiCo when transporting more than 500 miles for overnight deliveries. While PepsiCo can still rely on diesel trucks for long-haul routes, the company aims to transition to zero-emission transport and achieve a 100% CO2 reduction by 2030. Despite costing more than $250,000, the Tesla Semi remains popular thanks to its impressive operating cost savings. According to Priestley, Tesla is currently producing only the day cab version, with roughly 100 units built so far, including those delivered to PepsiCo, with no upgrades or additional production since then. Any price increase would only happen once Tesla reaches true mass production or launches a new version. The only confirmed price at this point is $250,000 and no other figures are considered reliable. Tesla's decision to keep the price secret is part of its long-standing marketing strategy. The more mystery there is, the more curiosity it generates. The Tesla Semi is also being used to transport Model 3s and Cybertrucks from the factories, boosting efficiency and cutting costs. Keeping the price undisclosed helps maintain the truck's appeal, especially if its real price ends up closer to $300,000. Additionally, revealing the price too early could allow competitors like Volvo, Nikola, Peterbilt, and Freightliner to adjust their strategies, undercut the semi, lower their own prices, and increase competitive pressure, ultimately weakening Tesla's advantage in the heavy-duty EV market. China is well known for its meticulous copying. The Windrose EV truck mirrors the Tesla semi by nearly 80%, with only a few visible differences, its headlights and the absence of Tesla's two large side mirrors. The truck offers a 380-mile range, a 98,000-pound gross weight, an 800-volt fast charging system, and even Level 4 autonomous driving. Its center-mounted driver's seat, copied straight from the Semi, remains controversial due to safety concerns. Winrose has been tested for hill climbing capability, braking, energy regeneration, and endurance under extreme conditions. From 43 to 48 degrees Celsius temperatures and altitudes between 2000 804,700 meters. Borg Warner has also deployed a 960 kilowatt charging station, enabling Windrose's 729 kilowatt hour battery to gain 248 miles in just 30 minutes, a rate even faster than the Tesla Semi. According to Dan Priestley, the Tesla Semi has already delivered over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada to Fremont, matching diesel trucks in both route length and payload while operating at a much lower cost. Keeping the Semi's pricing under wraps allows Tesla to manage cost, protect margins, and maintain its lead in the heavy-duty EV sector. So how do the Tesla Semi variants differ across different markets? Tesla's plan for production and expansion of the Tesla Semi focuses on ramping up volume. Starting in 2026 with a dedicated manufacturing facility, Tesla is prioritizing stabilizing North American production first 
before expanding aggressively into international markets such as Europe and Asia. The phased rollout allows Tesla to resolve manufacturing challenges, refine the semi's design adaptations, and ensure regulatory compliance tailored to each regional market. In Europe, Tesla has begun preparing the European Development Platform, featuring key design changes like independent front suspension and sleeper cab enhancements suited for local regulations and driving patterns. Simultaneously, Tesla is deploying its megacharger charging infrastructure aligned with major logistics corridors to support semi-fleet operations. Tesla's approach to European market entry demonstrates sophisticated regulatory navigation and product customization. Tesla semi-program lead Dan Priestley announced at the IAA Transportation Exhibit in Hanover, Germany, that the Tesla Semi would enter the European market with specifically engineered modifications grouped under the European Development Platform designation. Rather than deploying the American version verbatim, Tesla implemented several critical design changes addressing both regulatory requirements and performance optimization. The most significant mechanical modification involves the implementation of an independent front suspension system, replacing the original design used in American vehicles. This engineering change serves dual purposes, it satisfies European road and safety regulations while simultaneously improving vehicle efficiency. By upgrading to independent front suspension, Tesla enhanced regenerative braking capabilities, allowing the European variant to recover more energy during deceleration. This efficiency improvement combines with the vehicle's already impressive performance metrics to create a European-specific product better suited to continental driving patterns and regulatory frameworks. Beyond the drivetrain, Tesla has substantially redesigned the Semi's sleeping cab configuration, indicating responsiveness to European driver welfare regulations and market expectations for long-haul comfort. These modifications acknowledge that European trucking operations often involve longer, continuous driving segments than typical North American routes, necessitating enhanced driver amenities and comfort features. The redesigned cab represents not merely cosmetic changes, but substantive engineering adaptations reflecting regulatory requirements for driver working hours, rest periods, and occupational safety standards that differ materially from American trucking regulations. For Asia, deployment timing remains cautious, focusing initially on infrastructure development and logistics partnerships, especially in China and Japan. Tesla's strategy reflects the need to build out heavy-duty charging networks and adapt the semi to local operational demands before large-scale production targeting Asian markets. Tesla. Semi's design changes in the Asian and Chinese markets show clear differences compared to the original U.S. version, reflecting local market demands, regulations, and operational needs. For the Asian market, especially China, the design of Tesla Semi has been adapted to suit local market conditions. Photographic evidence from 2025 shows that the Semi retains the aerodynamic focus, but incorporates modifications for regional preferences and operational environments. What do you think about Tesla restarting semi-production after such a long pause? And what are your expectations for the upcoming versions, especially when it comes to pricing? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also. Make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.